Right now, thousands of people enjoy free food, music, groceries, and more. The 35th Feed the Multitudes event. It's happening at Victory Church. Andre Suentes has more on what it takes to cater to so many people in need every 4th of July. It took an army of more than 100 volunteers to make sure this 35th iteration of the Feed the Multitude event right here at Victory Church went on smoothly. The gates opened early at 10 o'clock this 4th of July with hundreds of people waiting in line to get served. Uh, some of the red beans, the uh, different types of barbecue that they have, watermelon, snowballs, you name it. A lot of them came by bus through uh, local shelters, but a lot of them also came by in the local area just to try to get something nice, free, and relaxing relaxing here in the heart of Metairie. Every year it gets bigger and bigger and me and my wife like to come out and fest with all the people, the different uh, variety of people and just get to know everyone. I think it's a blessing. The church is a blessing and I love to see everybody taking advantage of it. Now all of the food and the giveaways can't be done without the army of volunteers that it takes. We uh, got to see really how intensive the process is starting to cook at five, six o'clock in the morning, uh, all the way up until around lunchtime, just to make sure that everyone gets a bite to eat. And that's what America is about. That's what our city's about. It's all of us coming together and coming up with ways despite our situations. And while more than three decades ago, this event started out to cater to a lot of the shelters in the New Orleans metro area and a lot of the people who live there. Uh, organizers say that they've seen a growing amount of middle class families coming by in need of some service. At first it was almost all the people from the housing developments in New Orleans and this year there's a lot of lower middle class people. It's like I feel like people are hurting all across the board. For now reporting here in Metairie, Andres Fuentes, Fox 8, Local First.